Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition, where I just gave Cole a new dagger. I did several things, but among one of those that I just did very recently was give Cole his dagger. I got him a new one. I put the other one away. Oh, God, don't look at his face. I also, um, excuse me. I put a cleansing rune on it and an edgy dagger grip, which gave it plus five dexterity. Um, let's see. I gave I updated everyone's weapons and armors and whatnot. Uh, oh, and I gave myself. All right, you see how creepy talent is. I wanted to show you this. I got the battle mage cow. I went to the black emporium. Uh, which means I left Skyhold and then came back, which means some stuff might have changed dialogue-wise with everyone. I forgot that that happens. Um, but yes, we're wearing the Prowler armor with our... It's not Perseverance. What is it? Yeah, it is Perseverance. Okay, Perseverance. Um, and then, yes, I didn't change any of the die. I gave. I did give him um, the Hunter legs. Uh, put it back on. Yeah, I gave him store walker fire hundred legs. I did make arms, but they did not look very good. I like the way the arms are right now. Uh, they made him look too bulky up top, which was kind of funny. I'm going to have to look into getting the prowler one. I did see you can get the prowler legs and arms actually from the dog merchant, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to head there soon. But we're keeping the obsidian knight with us. Um... But for him, he just looks like he looks so cool like this. I love it. So I gave I upgraded everyone's accessories. I sold a bunch of stuff, made a bunch of room. Um, I don't even know. Oh, I should maybe make um a daggers for coal. I'm still kind of trying to figure out what I want to, you know, kind of give everyone, I don't know, oh yeah, or like, I'm not, I'm still kind of trying to figure out who I want my team to be when I go out, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure who I'm feeling with this, it's, it's difficult being a rogue, Dorian's for sure coming, but I feel like, it does feel weird to not bring Solus out, just because he's got revive and it's so freaking handy. Oh, I did actually mean to change my banners too. I'm going to do that. Oh, because I left and came back, Bianca's here now. So that's what that little exclamation point is. Oh, raw. Um. Banner, we're delish. Nope, drapery's good. Heraldry, yes. Dalish. Let's put on the Dalish. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling it. The throw. Oh, I got the Chasin thrown right now. That's right. Dragon Ma. Dragon Ma. I suppose we should go check the war table, eh? <laughs> Before we do anything, we're going to go check the war table. Before we talk to anybody. And we're going to leave Varric for last because friggin... <laughs> I'm glad we've got his quest, though. Like that we can that we can grab it. Hey, Josephine. What's up? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I wish you could change your Halamshire all stuff. It's my deepest wish. Yes, the missing seek uh into Ferelden Care Oswin. Okay. My people? Any news on why Corypheus is sending people to explore elven ruins, of all things? No. I suspect he keeps the reason secret, even from his inner circle. I think it's the... Yes. 
It appears that Wycombe has been some sort of plague that only affects humans. Uh, yes. No, I'm pretty sure that choosing Leliana is the best route, but I'm going to make sure. Nope, okay, Liliana is the bad one to choose. You get the letter. If you do that one, then the Duke is dead, and the soldiers all blame the elves, and most of the clans are already dead, and live well down there, and you carry Clive No. Okay. Yes. Go. Go, Josephine. This is the one time I can trust you. Uh, but thus far we believe Lord Enzo, blah, blah, blah. Agents could pay a visit. Okay. Well, for some reason, Leliana is the shortest one on that one. Judgment, yes. Uh, I think I did Josephine last time, but I think I'm gonna, or uh, I did Leliana last time, but I think I'm gonna do Josephine this time. Pow, what else have we got? Lots of stuff opened up over here. The name of our enemy, correct, correct. Uh, Grand Archivist. Dorian says he's the king of this particular castle and knows it. <laughs> um, I don't want to send anybody on a mission that long. Not yet. College of Magi. Oh. Okay. No! Uh. That doesn't sound very good, though. They might just antagonize them, you know what I mean? Uh. Huh? I don't know. Maybe Josephine? Protect- Oh, okay! This is a good Grey Warden specialty. She might be a good idea, but let's do this one. Inquisitor. We've got ooh, dwarven slaves. What? She might be the best one for this. Hmm. From one of Cullen's forward scouts. Oh my gosh, Red Templars with armor and weapons adorned with Dwarven runes. Oh. Uh. Okay, we'll try Liliana. Okay, let's, uh, let's go. I should have saved before I went in there. Shoot. That's okay. All right, let's talk to Josephine. We have an interesting development, Inquisitor. A petition from citizens of Val Royal. What? They wish to know what Andras oh. said to you in the fake. They think she spoke to me. She didn't. Even Liliana can't trace the rumor's origin. It may be expedient. 
But I never saw Andraste. It's not Andraste who saved me. Few people outside Skyhold know it was Divine Justinia who delivered you from the Fade. You could attempt to tell Varroio citizens the truth, though it may not be as inspiring as they hope. Uh, tell them nothing. The Inquisition won't answer their petition. That's all. They will be disappointed. But rumor will eventually fill in words for us. Let us hope they stay within reason. I got plus 80 influence for that? Jeez. Yes. Oh. How do you stay so civil with everyone, Josephine? Bonds of circumstance among the nobility are fickle. Civility is the only constant everyone admires. And I do deplore rudeness in those who know better. <laughs> Does it even become a strain sometimes? Well, it can be trying. There is no shortage of self-regard among the nobility. The game can be wearying, discouraging, and extremely painful. But honestly, I'd miss meeting people. I've made the most fascinating friends. She's perfect. <laughs> Better than making piles of interesting enemies. <laughs> I've had both, sometimes depending on which way the wind has been blowing at the time. But worth it, all in all, I think. Anything? What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among okay. us. Okay! They will... Any thoughts on the people? Who did you mean? Let's talk about our mages. Let's talk about Dorian. You must have an opinion of Dorian. Who hasn't? Still, I do believe he has your best interests at heart. For all that he delights in mocking them from time to time. <laughs> Let's speak later. Goodbye. Bye bye. Okie dokie. Let's see. We should probably go poke. What did Vivian think about all this? I don't remember. This, so, can we talk to Solus now? <laughs> Let's say before we talk to people. Good afternoon. Oh, okay. We'll talk later. Goodbye. And we talk to Dorian. Or should we talk to Dorian again, maybe? Maybe. Is that... Who's got the exclamation point? The Inquisitor's work is never done, I see. Stark? I need to talk to you. About how much you adore me, I assume? I hear that so often. Okay, let's, let's hang out. Let's do something interesting. More interesting than... I know. Up. We'll wander the ground <coughs> and I'll bore you with ribald tales of Tevinta intrigue. I love it. What's this? Is that upstairs or is that out? Oh no, it's oh it's downstairs. Okay, it's them downstairs. You walked physically through the fade. Please tell me what you remember. Um. I had visions. Echoes of what happened to me the first time. The Divine was there, or something like her. Manifestations of your own mind, perhaps? Or external memories awakened by your presence? I suppose there's no way to tell. No one else has physically. That would be interesting to bring Vivian. The Golden City. See what she said. I'm positively envious right now. Um. What are your thoughts about the others in the Inquisition? So Varric was spying on us all this time. I'm impressed. I never would have taken him for a player what? of the game. I'll have to watch him more closely from now on. Uh, he wasn't spying on us. I don't think. Right, now we can get out here. To these rooms. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Oh. Uh -huh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's stuff in these rooms. Like, um. Things to read. Not all of them, but in some of them. Read. 
Ewen. Uh huh. A guy who's like, You're too strong for me. I'm sorry. I'm going to go with this sweet little pansy woman. <gasps> Pretty. This wasn't like this last time for sure. What's these? What's the plants doing in here? I like that. I likes it. It's a nice touch. Where am I? I'm in the garden. Examine. Examine what? Whoa. What? Bellinaris Dinanhim. Elven arrow with inscription. An arrow, Elven, of course, because who else be this fancy with a throwaway? I've talked weapon, weapon talk with traitors before, and the squiggly scratching means make you dead or near enough. Well made. Have to be to keep its shape since whatever ancient sod around it's from. All I know is there are centuries of knocks in the walls I have to patch. They keep an edge if they don't hit stone. Tell the men to mind their fingers. They've got fresh blood. They got fresh blood on this one. Mason Gatsy. Oh, I would have never noticed. Where is it? It's like, is it supposed to be in the wall here or what? Weird. Okay. And this is just on the top, right? Yes. Your chairs aren't in focus. There they go. Mm -hmm. I didn't, did I? Okay. Um. All right, let's go talk to... He's admiring his handiwork. We'll talk to Colin. Oh shoot, I gotta talk to Blackwall too before I forget. Ah! Where's Inquisitor, Colin? If you're looking for the commander, he's gone to speak with Seeker Pentagast. Oh no! Okay, this was something um I'm pretty sure that I did in my last walkthrough. Or in my in my yeah, in my first one. Um but it didn't get recorded somehow, so I don't know. Yeah, I remember somebody, somebody sent me a message once, like asking if that, if I had, like where, when that had happened, and I was like, I swear it happened. I just, are they in here? Oh, if this did you happen, I remember. For my opinion, and I've given it. Why would you expect it to change? <laughs> I expect you to keep your word. It's relentless. I can't. You give yourself too little credit. If I'm unable to fulfill what vows I kept, then nothing good has come of this. Would you rather save face than admit? Uh, hello? We will speak of this later. And people say I'm stubborn. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Cullen told you that he's no longer taking Lyrium. Uh, yeah. It seemed very important to him. It's not a decision to be made lightly. But now, Cullen has asked that I recommend a replacement for him. I refused. It's not necessary. Besides, it would destroy him. He's come so far. Why didn't he come to me? We had an agreement long before you joined us. As a seeker, I could evaluate right. the dangers. Right, exactly. Uh, Cassandra, did you refuse Cullen's request because he's wrong? Or because you want him to be wrong? Good question. Mages have made their suffering known. But Templars never have. They are bound to the Order, mind and soul, with someone always holding their Lyrium leash. Cullen has a chance to break that leash, to prove to himself and anyone who would follow suit that it's possible. Ah. He can do this. I knew that when we met in Kirkwall. Talk to him. Decide if now is the time. Whoa, buddy. Talon's like, oh, great. Now <laughs> I get more decisions like this thrown on me. Perseverance. Hey, that's the name of my bow. Cullen, I will let you touch my bow. It is very cool. You can, you can, like, you know, I'll let you borrow it. I will take back my Dalish bow, which I gave to Sarah, and you can borrow the Perseverance bow. 
Vasquez. Suladin. Suladin, my friend. It shall not end this way. I will never, ever make you start taking lyrium again, Colin. Ever. Never. <laughs> Woo! Maker's breath. I didn't hear you enter. I... Forgive me. It's hard. Cullen, if you need to talk, you don't have to. <gasps> Cullen! I never meant for this to interfere. Oh my gosh! I know. I believe you. But whatever good it does, promises me nothing if I cannot keep it. You asked what happened to Ferelden's circle. It was taken over by abominations. The Templars, my friends, were slaughtered. I was tortured. They tried to break my mind, and I... <laughs> How can you be the same person after that? Still, I wanted to serve. They sent me to Kirkwall. I trusted my knight commander, and for what? Hmm? A fear of mages ended in madness. Kirkwall's circle fell. Innocent people died in the streets. Can't you see why I want nothing to do with that life? Of course I can. I... Don't. You should be questioning what I've done. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Talon's like, what do you want me to but say? <laughs> Look at that face. I've some control over my life, but these thoughts won't leave me. How many lives depend on our success? He is way too I stressed out. I swore myself to this cause. I will not give less to the Inquisition than I did to Chantry. I should be taking it. Mm. I should be taking it. Colin! No, no. You don't need it. You give enough, Colin. I'm not asking you for more. The Inquisition can be your chance to start over. If you want it to be. I don't know if that's possible. It is. <laughs> All right. What a what kind of fuzzy, weird... And what? Talon just leaves? Bye-bye. Colin! You're gonna be okay, Colin! I will never make you go back to that life. I need a moment. We speak another time. Yep. Yes, indeed. I changed the... Didn't I change him? Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. Or maybe he's just got the Ferelden banners hanging up in here. Uh, okay. But now we need to speak to Black... <gasps> I don't know if I'm ready to speak to Blackwall yet. Wait. Wait. Um. 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 No, no, no. Uh, we haven't finished... I haven't finished those yet. Don't we have to finish those? Uh, um, last time, I think this happened... His big personal quest happened right after this. But I, I, I can't be sure. I cannot be sure. Ooh, what is your name exactly? Do you have a name? Are you the Elysium merchant? I am suspicious. No, I think you're... No. You're the stuff that I didn't pick up at Haven, maybe? I don't know. You are small. You are tiny. Blackwall! 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 <gasps> no! Wait, no. Okay, you're not the soldier. You're not the soldier. Where's Blackwall? Blackwall! For serious! For serious, Blackwall, where are you? Where is he? He's, he's supposed to be in here. Why isn't he in here? Is he just, like, invisible? I don't understand. I'm standing right on him. Blackwall! He can't just leave. You have to... Okay, freaking heck, Blackwall. What are you doing now? Oh, yeah, he's chopping wood. Okay, I remember. I remember now. 
Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. I'm told her wardens never wavered. They went to their deaths willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. Oh, I can't remember. This was a difficult conversation. And that's why he has to die. You'll get no argument from me. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. Yes. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. At the end of the day, I guess all we can do is try and hope for the best. You're right. What matters is that we never give up. Yes. Clorel made mistakes, but she was a great woman. And she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the order. It's not the joining. The joining! At the heart ah. of it. <gasps> All the warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost. So he of thinks, he feels like he's finally a true gray warden because he paused there. It's not the, the joining, because he never went through with the joining. All a warden is, and what he's learned that what a warden is. Who are you? You're like from the multiplayer, aren't you? A warden is someone who. Ugh. I feel like I think I I thought I changed it to the red heart, but I guess That'll not. Fine. Um, he knows what a warden is now. I don't know. I don't know what Something on your mind. What do you think of the Inquisition? I just know that you could shake this world to its foundations if you... You must have some... Last time we died, mm -hmm. I'm not sure where any of it goes. What do you think? Josephine's lovely and craftier than mm -hmm. you'd expect. You must have... Have you seen the stories Varric's been writing? Eh, okay. We should return as you wish. That was interesting. That was last time I brought Blackwall, and he's like, you saw them. They went willingly to their deaths, you know, type thing. And this time he's like, I'm told they went willingly to their deaths. Yeah, I changed him to the Dalish. I guess he must, Cullen must just have, um... Except for other ones in his office. <laughs> I couldn't remember what I was trying to say for a second. So much is happening. Were you there? Did you see what they did? Straight across the throat. Like it was nothing. Shit. What goes on in their heads? Blight. Blight goes on. Never forget that. They will do whatever it takes to stop the blight. If you say so. And that was used against them. We'll make good use of it. Mmm. What have you done? Visitor. What's the current mood? Scorn. Scorn? Why? What's the word out there? Quiet. Too quiet. No, wait. Just quiet enough. Okay, good. As you were. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Commander Cullen did good work at Adamant. Breached those walls like he'd done it a dozen times. Nice job with the demons, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Tell about yourself. I wanted to talk about you, if that's all right. You know, I'm from Tevinter. Wasn't a slave, but even citizens have it rough if they're not majors. I was a soldier, but women joined the ranks under a different program. When they found out I was passing, it got ugly. I ran, met ball near the border, and ended up here. Not a life I'd wish on everyone, but it'll do. You said you left Tevinter when they discovered your secret. Women are allowed to serve, but only in certain ranks and disciplines. I was up for promotion, but the healer I'd bribed to sign off on my physical had to turn to a sick magister. When the replacement healer saw what was or wasn't in my pants, he made threats. It was slavery or death, so I knocked him out and Slavery ran. or death. Uh, 
Do I get only one of these? It's against the law to pass as a man. It's a crime to lie on an Imperial application for service. Would have been a heavy fine or slavery. For ten silvers, the healer said he'd tell the Tribune I was sick in the head. Some pity for the mad little girl. That was when I hit him. Yeah. I'd serve for a few years. I was good at hitting. The fact that nobody, like, found out... I'm surprised for a few years? ...means so that he is well and able to do like what he's doing. I was in Trevis, not far from the Navarran border. It helped that I was being chased as a deserter, not a runaway slave. Slave hunters only get paid for what they catch. They're efficient bastards. Why did you decide to live as a man? I didn't decide anything. I've been like this my whole life. My parents wanted me to marry up. They tried to find me a nice merchant's son. Every day, put on a dress, look into my father's shaving mirror, and just hate myself. Hmm. How did your family react when you started? My mother wanted to throw me out. She said if I didn't marry well, I was dooming the you family. You can still marry well as a girl. I, happy to I mean, as like a man, a you know. Though. Not that it mattered in the end. My father. When I was little, he'd angle his mirror down so I could pretend to shave, just like him. He never said anything, but I think he knew. If you had the chance to use magic, would you change all the way? What? No. I don't want no. any magic like that within ten yards of my body. When I was younger. Ah, oh, I don't know. Everyone has silly dreams. And to Vinter, dreams like that get you killed. I mean, it's like... It'll help me make a good life. Nice armor and a well-placed sock, and I'm happy. I mean... I don't know. The, for magic changing you like that, that would be kind of terrifying, because it could backfire so quickly, you know? Um, and to change something like that, it's kind of up for debate, like, how much you can actually change. Like, you can't change your chromosomes, you know? Like, you can't. And so, I don't know. Like, I mean, he maybe would be afraid that it would change him as a person. The struggle of him being born a woman, but as a man in a woman's body, is what's shaped him and turned him into the person he is. You know, that struggle is what's defined him, in a way. It doesn't define him totally, like, he's, you know, who he is, but... That's a big part of it, so. What's Tavinta like for a citizen? Someone who isn't a slave or a mage? I'm of the Separati. Citizens who aren't mages. Mages are in charge and everyone knows it. But a wealthy merchant can have I wonder if life. Krem and Dorian ever talk. At the low end, people just try to stay out of slavery. My father was a tailor. I joined the army after the Imperial slaves drove him under. How did slaves drive your family out of business? My father made shirts, aprons, that kind of thing. Nothing fancy. One of the magisters had a pet project. To prevent the poor from dying of cold in the winter. Nice, right? He had imperial slaves making simple peasant clothes and selling them for almost nothing. That magister's nice idea put out slave-made clothes at prices my father couldn't match. Who would buy goods made by slaves knowing they'd be hurting a citizen's business? People with enough money for a new shirt or a loaf of bread, but not both. My father sold himself into slavery. He's one of the service publicus. The Imperium owns slaves now. We'll like, talk later. Can Krem, like, get him out of there? I don't know. It's like, oh, God. Hello? Right, yes. <laughs> okay. Cassandra's getting very involved in all of this. Uh, come on. This is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. <laughs> good one. Good one. Perhaps you can take over. She's like, I'm good. <laughs> Gunari training exercise to master your fear. Been a while since I needed it, but that nightmare demon was big. Yep. Can you explain why I'm supposed to hit you with this? <laughs> Probably, if I try. It'd involve a lot of Kunari words. It's though. mastering your fear. Just hit me with the stick, all right? I need to get over this demon crap. Why doesn't um Krem do it? <laughs> all right. He greatly approves. Wow. There we go. Oh yeah. Damn demon. <laughs> The Inquisitor is beating I'm on one of his people. Here, uh, should we, uh... 
That nightmare wanted to tear you in half. <laughs> Not a chance. Piece of fade, piece of crap. <laughs> and who killed you? That's right. I on fucking bull. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, I needed that. Thanks, boss. You're welcome. Uh. Anytime. 